Hello beautiful noodles and welcome to another video. I hope you all are doing well. Today I have a cast video for you where I will be making Care Bears in The Sims 4. I am going to be making two Sims today. Our first one here is going to be inspired by Funshine Bear. I have been feeling super nostalgic lately, especially for my childhood toys, and that includes Care Bears. The two I specifically had as a child were Funshine Bear and Grumpy Bear, so Grumpy Bear will be the second one we'll be making today. Funshine Bear is obviously very yellow, very bright and sunny and cheerful, so I really wanted to make a sim that fit all that, and when I personally think of like yellow, bright, cheery sims, I think of very cottagecore aesthetic almost farmer type of sims that's the aesthetic i went for when i did the not so berry challenge for my yellow sim and that's just what i feel a yellow sim exudes in my opinion so i gave her freckles because i figure she spends a lot of time in the sunshine she's gonna have freckles and i also just wanted to give her very soft features very cute little button nose the soft eyebrows and then also just really leaning into the yellow theme I gave her yellow eyes her skin tone is a little more on the yellow side and she will also have blonde hair of course and then I also just had to give her the custom content eyelashes that is something I give to all of my sims I don't use a ton of custom content but there are a few things, especially in cast, that I use on every sim, one of them being the eyelashes. For her hair, I really wanted to make sure that I got it right because I think a sim's hair says a lot about who they are as a person. So I wanted something very joyful, something youthful, girly, but also not super high maintenance. I think Funshine Bear would be a go with the flow kind of girl. So I wanted something that represented that. I also wanted to make sure that I got the hair color right because while Funshine Bear is yellow and the cheese yellow hair swatch probably could have worked for this sim, I wanted to go more on the route of her hair color matching very close to her skin tone to kind of give that monochromatic look like a Care Bear has. I ultimately went with this bun look. I think it looks very cute, very easy and girly, and I think she could have just thrown it up while she was in the middle of doing something else in her day, and I think that's something that Funshine Bear would do. For makeup, I didn't want to give her a ton of makeup because I do think she is that more easygoing always outdoors too busy to put on makeup kind of gal but I did want to give her a little bit of just yellow accents as well as that blush across the nose I think that look is first of all absolutely adorable but also I can see it kind of being like a sun-kissed almost sunburned look rather than blush like she's been out in the sun so much that her nose is permanently red now for the fun part, which is the clothes. I definitely wanted her to have that kind of cottage core boho look. I definitely wanted her in a dress. And there were tons of good options of yellow boho cottage core dresses. It was almost too difficult to pick which one to do. I did really love this Realm of Magic dress with the almost suspenders look over the blouse. I think that's so cute and would have fit her, but I ultimately decided to go with the plaid sundress over the t-shirt from Cottage Living. I love this dress. I use it all the time, especially in the yellow swatch. I think it is so cute and so perfect for this type of sim. And now I'm just going to finish our Funshine Bear off with a few simple accessories. I think she turned out so cute i love the way she looks i think she is adorable i'm going to just add this gold custom content necklace here and then i'm also going to add in some sunflower earrings i think if they were sunshines they would have been perfect but the sunflowers are pretty good too and there is our sunshine bear she turned out so cute and looks so cheerful and sunny wow. Up next, as I mentioned before, we are going to be working on Grumpy Bear. And for Grumpy Bear, I am going with much more cool tones, 
more blues and blacks of course and for grumpy bear the personality that i was envisioning is a very alternative kind of punk very cool person grumpy bear is emo basically His name is grumpy bear and his whole personality is being sad and he has a rain cloud on his belly so clearly he is emo for the sake of this video i did make grumpy bear as a female sim simply because i don't like making male sims as much the male sim content in the game is lacking to say the least and i also just don't have as much custom content so most of my cast challenges and videos are going to probably be female sims now focusing on grumpy bear here i decided to use a lot more strong features than i did with sunshine bear so she's got the sharp eyebrows the downturned mouth downturned eyes just to really give that contrast with Funshine Bear and also to make it very obvious that she is grumpy. Grumpy Bear on the stuffed toys had a frown and also was constantly frowning in the movies and stuff. So I wanted to make it very obvious by her facial features as well as makeup and clothes and stuff that she is grumpy because grumpy bear is not just sometimes grumpy he is perpetually grumpy now for her makeup i did want to go with a very dark strong bold look so i went with very dark eyes and very intense eyeliner as well as dark lips i think that definitely plays into the grumpy persona and i also use lots of dark blues to match with grumpy bear's fur and I also wanted to give Grumpy Bear piercings to fit that alternative kind of style and personality that I was talking about earlier. For her hair, I wanted something very fun and edgy. And I ultimately decided to go with these custom content space buns that I have. They were so perfect and there's so many color swatches. I was very glad I did not have to use the Maxis Blue hair color because it is way too bright for our grumpy bear and this just fits so perfectly i also wanted to give her some fun alternative earrings to match with her facial piercings and i think these ones from realm of magic are amazing especially with the black metal and the blue gems to match grumpy bear's blue now getting into her clothing she's going to have that very edgy alternative style that looks so cool and she's obviously going to be dressed in lots of blues and blacks luckily there is actually a lot of that edgier style in this game so i actually had a lot of options for her and i absolutely love this realm of magic top the blue is just perfect especially for grumpy bear and i I'm gonna just pair it with some black shorts and throw on some ripped up tights underneath to give it that really edgy look. I think it looks so cool. I would love to dress like this, but I know I would not be able to pull it off. And I'm just going to pair this look with my favorite boots from Discover University. I love these boots. I love all the color swatches and luckily the blue matched the blue shirt perfectly. So I was very happy about that. We're going to give her some black fingernail polish and a few accessories and we're just going to finish her up here. That is Grumpy Bear pretty much done. I had so much fun making both of these sims and I think they turned out so cool. I think this was such a fun idea and I may revisit it in the future to make more Care Bears or more toys from my childhood. So let me know if you liked Grumpy Bear or Funshine Bear better and what you all want to see in the future. I absolutely love making Sims in cast. I could do it for hours on end. So I'm sure there's going to be more cast videos in the future. But let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this content or if you enjoy cozy gaming content in general. And I hope to see you all in the next video and in the future. Bye everybody!